Okay, folks, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Glover in Pajamas. This is Blue the Prairie Dog, your host with the most. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. In the last episode, we started the second... Uh, no. The second, uh, zone of the carnival and finished it. Or rather, we finished the second zone of the carnival and started the third zone. Urgh. Excuse me for the bad not having knowledge. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a magic ball. Hang on. Okay. Where are we going now? Where to go? Oh. Oh. Yes, this wouldn't be good here. But with ball rolling physics in video games being so terrible, it wouldn't be good to use the ball here, even though apparently you're meant to. But obviously I'm not going to do that. Oh, good gravy. Damn game. Cheated me out of... <sighs> this level is a total problem, I'm telling you. Mm. There, we finally got it. Almost have them all. <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, sorry about this, but when you could find yourself, you know, falling into death. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a magic ball. You don't really, uh, think about commentation. Yeah. Hmm. 
die. <laughs> Alright. So. While we're making our way through this level. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a magic ball. Stay a ball. <laughs> uh, yeah, while we're doing this, how about you guys? What have you guys been up to? I don't know about, you know, what you've all been up to. But I have been having good days and bad days here and there. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a magic ball. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Anyway. So like I said. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. With a magic ball. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't really been having any days that are extremely good. Today I went to go get some Chinese food. Had some egg flour soup and lemon chicken and rice. Yeah, that's the thing about uh, Chinese food. Yeah, tell me, what's your favorite dish of, you know, any kind of food? Like any... Hey, brother! Why are you being so evil, cross stitch? Oh good lord, no. Oh good lord, no. Oh good lord, no. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Oh no! Oh no! Let's see, avoid the clown's pies and watch out for the spinning floor. To defeat the clown, aim the ball at the two targets and hit the flashing nose for the big finale. Uh. 
seriously? Can I get this? No, uh, hey. Ah, uh, damn it, floor. Grab the ball. How do I hit the nose? <sighs> Damn it. Damn it, what the hell? That one was homie. Come back, ball. <sighs> okay, that was scary. I am not fond of clowns. Clowns are evil. I have circophobia, which is the fear of clowns, contrary to popular belief of the fear of carnivals or circus. Circus is fun, it's just the clowns are evil and scary. <sighs> and so, we finished off yet another world. So let's go take this back. <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a crystal of power. So, we officially now have three crystals of power. So, with that world out of the way, we'll begin our next world in the next episode which is Pirate's Cove see over there we won't uh, get started on the next world until tomorrow night folks so you'll all just have to wait so to add a little more time to this video I guess what we can do is talk about I don't know what do you want to talk about oh yes let's finish what I was talking about earlier so I was saying about what your favorite dish is for certain type of foods. There's like Chinese, there's Japanese, Mexican, American. You know, all different kinds of foods. And let's give you a little preview of Pirate's Cove. Or not really much of a preview, but just give you a look inside here. Now what's on the other side is, yes, that there, this, this here I think is the, uh, you know, 
bonus level. Anyway. All these, uh, world entrances are actually the same. The only difference is what's on the outside. See, this tells you what exactly is the world's theme, basically. So we went through Atlantis, we went through the carnival, and now we're gonna go through, you know, the pirate land. Anyway, yeah. So my favorite dish in Chinese food, I guess, would be uh, plain noodles. Plain, just plain noodles. Uh, maybe egg flour soup and lemon chicken. Ter teriyaki chicken. Definitely teriyaki. For Japanese as well. And, uh, white rice. It's always good to have with soy sauce. Yeah, plain, I know. Very plain, I don't know why. Uh, Mexican food, ooh, that's a hard one. I think enchiladas, yeah. And, uh, I like to get, like, chorizo burrito at this one place that we usually go to. It's like beans, uh, rice, egg and chorizo, and then on the outside, it's got, like, cheese all over it with, uh, red sauce, and it's just so good. Uh, I guess for American, I say, uh, pizza. Well, that's Italian, actually. And, uh, I say macaroni and cheese with pepperoni in it. Oh, that is so good. And, uh, well, that's about it. Oh! Oh, buffalo wings, yes, definitely buffalo wings. And as for Italian, obviously pizza. You can't go wrong with pizza or spaghetti. Especially when you have meatballs. So, I think that's enough food talk. So like I said, in the uh, next episode, we'll get started on Pirate's Cove. So until then... See you later.